Well, yeah, yeah. Well done. Now, James Press. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I made clear to my constituents that I would not be supporting the PM's deal. Deal. It locks us in to purgatory, and a few added pages in the appendix won't change that. Whether you said yes or no to Brexit, nobody voted for this. How can we believe anything this government says? Yesterday played out the PM's contempt for Parliament and the people we represent. It is their Parliament she smothers and ignores. The PM's humiliation now risks becoming the country's humiliation. In what possible scenario do her latest actions help us negotiate a better deal as we step closer to a no deal? But I fear a more cynical move in the government's motives. After running the clock down and two years of excluding the country from making a deal together, the PM refuses to express the realities of Brexit compared to its rhetoric and won't say when the meaningful vote will be or, indeed, whether it will be either meaningful or a vote. Threatening no deal if it's not her deal is a confection. This approach straight out of a mis-selling scandal. Take this now or lose everything. Now or nothing. No other choice, and it won't wash. Far from taking back control, the Prime Minister stands in the way of control. Britain said yes and no to Brexit. 3,000 leavers and remainers in my constituency have taken my Brexit survey, with 80% combined view that the public or Parliament should have a final say on the deal, compared with just 11% for the PM. But sentiments like, why aren't we there yet, or get on with it, I understand. But this is too important to lose patience with, too important to be told, time's up, everyone out. The PM hasn't united the country because she cannot unite it with the approach she's taken on the one job she had. She should bring her deal back to Parliament next week, conclude the vote and have Parliament decide what is next, including if we should ask for further instruction from the people. If she cannot sell her deal, it is not worth buying. Yep. But all efforts now must be to activate this place, our Parliament, to protect against a no deal. Yeah.